The next setup menu is the printer's setup. In this menu, you need to designate a printer for each printing task. This can be either the same printer for all the tasks or different printers. When you are done, click Submit Changes for the changes to take effect. The next setup menu is General Setup. In this menu, you can input general information about your business that will be used on the main screen and the customer's receipt. This general information also contains the three lines of messages that can be printed on the bottom of your customer's receipt. Once you are done, click Submit Changes for the changes to take effect. The next setup menu is Invoice or Receipt Detail Setup. In here, you can choose the receipt's font name and size. You can also choose different details that can be included or excluded from the receipts simply by clicking yes or no on these options. The following setup menu is Regional Standards and Settings. In here, you can choose the currency which you use in your business. You can also choose to have one or two sales taxes to which you can give custom names all according to your local regulations. You can also select the tax insertion method in the next option according to your local regulations. This can be either the insertion of the tax at the end of a sale into the final total price or the taxes can be included in each item product or service initially and then also included in the total price. Last but not least, you can select the date format according to your local standards to be month, day, year, or day, month, year.